We're coming to the final hour and uh, still joined by uh, Ramesh Ranganathan. Hello. Hello, mate. You alright? Uh, yeah, good. Did you just kick something? No. The, the, your new guest did. Oh, my new <laughs> guest. <laughs> that new guest being James Acaster. I kicked a panel on the wall by mistake. Oh. It was, uh, what I was doing, Josh, I was swinging my leg round, so I was like crossing my legs in quite a... Quite a laid curve. back manner. Just to show Romesh, this is how it's done, mate. I've been <laughs> on this before. <laughs> Can you not just not keep kicking it? Signature. Now we're, we're, we've only got the, the, this problem hasn't arose and arisen. Arisen. Good. Good. Well self corrected. Cheers. Thank yeah, you. No. <laughs> it hasn't arisen uh, till now, but um, we've only got two working mics, so you two are essentially kind of going Robson and Jerome on us. Yeah, here. sort yeah. of mirrored it. It's like uh, we're going to do a. A do over of Ebony and Ivory <laughs> here in the studio for us. <laughs> but we're sing the opposite part. Yeah. <laughs> it so, is very strange looking at you because yeah. Romish is more confident and he's gone right in at the mic. James looks a bit more like. Oh, a bit hesitant. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm always. Uh, yeah, I do, do the show every week. I'm used to having my own mic. I'm a bit angry. No, this I has even in, happened. I came in, you know, as a special guest, you know, one off and then. Obviously, they can't be bothered to sort out too much. <laughs> well, mate, I've got news for you. You are just the latest in a long line of special guests, so you needn't think you're that special. Let's move up my place. Cheers, mate. How are you, James? Very well, thank you, Josh. Good. Any news? Very well. Uh, well you know, oh, do you know what we haven't updated on recently? Any Wigfield news? Big Wigfield. Uh, for any listeners, uh, James, a few weeks ago, became friends on Facebook with uh, Wigfield. <laughs> what do you think about that, Romish? Uh, I'm indifferent. <laughs> cool. She's my Facebook friend. And uh, lately, she's been this week, she's been posting... Because a lot of her posts are in Danish, so I don't really know uh, what what a lot of them are about. So I really only, only understand... Do you, ever, do you not want to put them in Google Translate? Yeah. I should do. I should put them all into... Just, yeah, she, she's, just like what she's written is there's this weird guy that keeps talking about me on the radio. <laughs> Whatever I write. Yeah, very scared. Um, no, she's been posting loads of pictures of the Queen lately. I don't know why. <laughs> Wigfield really loves the Queen. Well, it's good to know, isn't it? But she did a picture of the Queen. <laughs> she, did a, she did a face swap with the Queen. Where she, she put did a her, face swap with the Queen? She, yeah, that app. Yeah. yeah. Face, so she's, she's uh, put her own face on the yeah, Queen's because, head. Yeah, because that'll make people think that Wigfield and the Queen were hanging out, <laughs> having some fun with the, old, with the old face swap app. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you know how Queenie gets. <laughs> on a Saturday night, loving it. Swapping faces. Was that a Wigfield. Saturday night Wigfield reference? Yeah, very good. Very oh, yeah. Good. Probably, yeah, well, I imagine that's the only, was it? Uh, only, only night of the week that uh, Wigfield has fun. <laughs> good, Saturday good. Night. Come around the Queen's house. What we'll do, James, you, you both seem to be moving away from the microphone the longer we talk. I'm just a bit worried because I've eaten a burrito. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just concerned about this, being this close to James, how it's affecting him. Do it's I smell a burrito? No. You can be honest. <laughs> No, it's not nice, man. All right, cheers. Okay, uh, nice. what we do, we'll play a song uh, in honour of the fact that's the first time X of M has ever broadcast smelling. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first live smelling on X of M of all time. Josh Widdicombe Podcast X That was Primal Scream on X of M. We are still joined by Romish Ranganathan. Hello. <laughs> there was a slight pause there. Well, as you I, moved did, I didn't. I didn't. No, you didn't give me the proper cue. I didn't know if I was supposed to come in straight on my name. Though. Oh, I sorry. I, I was waiting for James to be introduced. As and well. James Acaster. I'm going to say hello in unison with you. <laughs> that's what you're <laughs> for. I thought that would be part of the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, like doing a little the harmony microphone. part. Still yeah. joined by James Acaster and Romish Ranganathan. Hello. Hello. Ah, yeah. oh, you can't even you do it. Right Unbelievable. Away. I didn't know we're definitely doing that. Let me try it one more time. <laughs> we're still joined by Romish Ranganathan and James Acaster. Hello. hello. Yeah, don't do that ever again. No. <laughs> I didn't like it. No, I didn't really like it. Probably would be better if we didn't say hello. No. It's if anything, this has been the toughest hello I've ever had to say. <laughs> and I always thought goodbye was the most difficult. Oh. Am I right, guys? <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> goodbye, Josh. Um, now, uh, we're talking this morning uh, two things. Uh, one, uh, worst experience you've had in a hairdresser, which, James, you have coming up later. Yeah, I think so. It wasn't in a hairdresser, it was having my hair cut. I I mean, I'm going to talk about a tease there. <laughs> I can just tell it now. It was on a boat. Do you want to yeah. tell it now? Have yeah, got... I'll tell it now. All I'll right. do something else later. I was, uh, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I didn't have any money, so I, I was living with um, my friend, I mean, it's me, who I was living with is irrelevant, but <laughs> with, with, with Trevor and his, and his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, Maya. I like, I like Trevor. Yeah, you like Trevor? Yeah, right, yeah. You probably have met him. Oh, really? Comedian. Yeah, oh, okay. Trevor Locke. If anyone yeah. wanted to know, full name. Trevor's not even involved in the story. He, 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 he was out at the time. Oh, okay, fine. But it's good to know who could have been there. Yeah, the Trevor could have been in the house. His yeah. belongings were in the flat. 
Yeah. Let's move on. He didn't bring everything with him. When you said this wasn't a story about hairdressers, I didn't realise it was so divorced from the idea <laughs> of hairdressers. Mainly, mainly, mainly about Trevor Locke's <laughs> life or, or, or what he doesn't yeah. do. He does get out, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. 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 He gets out of the house yeah. every now and again. Um, and uh, I wanted to get my hair cut, so his girlfriend, offered, Maya, offered to cut my hair. Yeah. And because she didn't want hair going all over the, the kitchen floor and stuff, we, we, we did it um, on the steps and the front of the house. <laughs> well, outside, outside, in the like street. a Snoop Dogg video. Yeah, like 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 like, like we're in the, like we're in the, in the hood. <laughs> we're in the, on the, a suit, getting some like corn rice. Yeah, like, like, out, out, on the, out on the porch. Yeah, like we're in the ghetto. <laughs> so were you bouncing a basketball? <laughs> while she was doing it. Yeah, maybe I was <laughs> sipping on gin and juice. Yeah, yeah, speaking right. of kids, yeah, psyched in biology. Who are you? Hey, Arnold. <laughs> 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 really cool, mate. And, uh, oh, that's amazing. Get my hair cut. So you're on the stoop, having your hair cut. Having my hair cut, of course. <laughs> um, we, we left the front door open. Yeah. And uh, she was halfway through cutting my hair, and then the wind blew the front door shut, <laughs> and then we realised that neither of us had keys on us. <laughs> and we'd locked ourselves, uh, and she panicked immediately. Um, and stopped cutting my hair. Now, I, 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 had to be, I had to be somewhere. I had to get the tube in 20 minutes. I also didn't have any shoes on. So that's what you do when you get in your hair. When was this? The 60s? Yeah. And, uh, I, I, uh, Barefoot on the porch getting your hair cut. Yeah, Amazing. yeah. Kind of so when she'd done half of it, had she been working left to right, or...? Well, yeah, like, it was kind of like one half was, like, quite, yeah, quite long, and, like, it, it kind of curled upwards in this like, in a kind of like, U like shape now, yeah, yeah. Mm. and then the other side was now short and uh, I don't know why she worked for one, one end of I think pr pretty much professional hairdressers don't just start from <laughs> the left and work <laughs> their way over to the right I think the reason people do that is so, for more comic effect if the haircut is interrupted <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think that's the whole idea was you lose some of that also most professional hairdressers don't work on steps <laughs> yeah, yeah. well actually if it's the band then they get they, they, only, they only get the most professional of hairdressers <laughs> in their hair Josh I think you can remember yeah. and the porches are wonderful <laughs> yeah, yeah, they get their hair. <laughs> marble porches <laughs> <laughs> um, so we had to get. Now there was there was a top window was open, off, yeah. the, off the flats um, into Trevor's room. Oh, uh, he's, back, he's back in the game. He's back thank in the goodness, story. Thank goodness we know that he's out. <laughs> 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 Otherwise the peril would be removed from this story. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what we did, there were some builders working down the road who had a ladder. So I went over to them barefoot with half my hair cut. <laughs> And, said, uh, and they gave you a quid for a cup of tea. Get, get out of here. They, they beat me up. And, uh, <laughs> no, they, they gave me their, their ladder. And we, we climbed through the window and I let her in. And uh, got the rest of my hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> that's the... I mean, that's the most surreal story I've ever heard about. We, we, I mean, we've had a few this morning, but that <laughs> is the least likely. Yeah. So, oh. Sorry, who climbed up? You climbed up. I climbed up. Did you feel that the, the sort of the weight differential with your hair... <laughs> made it more difficult to make that climb. Um, every time there's a gust of wind, uh, I did blow quite heavily to one side. <laughs> yeah. More it's difficult, yeah. isn't it? Well, yeah. you know you've, what? Got counter, you've got counterbalance somehow. In, in yeah. terms of <laughs> queuing up the fact that you're going to do a classic scrape, you've really warmed us up nicely, James. <laughs> yeah, I've got to back myself into a corner here. I've got to do better than that. Josh Whittaker Podcast. Uh, now, uh, Romish. Yeah. Uh, James at this point. This is Romish Ranganathan still joining us and... Um, Still quite close to the microphone. You don't need to sound so fed up about it. Remember, I'm going to for still job. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get rid of him. Um, James, say it, 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 when, when all the songs are playing, it's just Josh going, "Okay, thanks, then, Rob." <laughs> <laughs> and Rob's going, "Yep, cheers, man." Yeah. <laughs> are you still? Is the show still going on? <laughs> I can, I'm happy to hang around. <laughs> okay, mate. I think football focuses on Rob. If you want to go and. Uh, <laughs> Actually, for any listeners, don't go and watch Football Focus. I shouldn't have drawn attention to it. <laughs> Our main competitor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what you can do is you can watch Football Focus with the subtitles on and listen to James Acaster's classic scrape at the same time. Pretend that I'm... Who, who, oh, I was about to say, I don't know who's on Football Focus. Have a guess, it? James. You know Gary so Lineker. <laughs> that shows how much you know. Uh, Garth Crooks. <laughs> Let's move on. Lawrence. Actually, is. What's Lawrence's first name? Mark. Oh, oh, very good. Yes. Uh, nice. He's nice. he's got a story about a bad haircut. He's had it for the last twenty years. <laughs> Andre <Sorry>. Kanchelskis. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not a time to name nineties <laughs> footballers. <laughs> right, James, do you have a classic scrape? Is Matt it on Leticia? Okay, right, move on. <laughs> um, I did. No, I, I've chosen this one because uh, it takes place in a me going to a, a primary school to 
perform stand-up comedy for kids. This was yeah. on a Red Nose Day, and my friend David Trent, who is also a comedian, but at the time was a primary school teacher, uh, booked me to do stand-up for the whole school uh, on, on comedy. You were a teacher once, weren't you? I was, yeah. At what age? Um, he was in his 20s by the time he was a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Well done. Um, <laughs> 11 to 18, secondary. Oh, okay. Mm. You ever, so you did stand up at a primary school? Yeah, but the thing was, I thought it was I was going to do a gig, um, like one gig to all the kids at once in the whole school. And what it actually was, was... One me. at a time, like confession. Well, it was almost... <laughs> 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 it was like me confessing my sins to, to children. Your CRB check is going to be with more than one child at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, that is the opposite that they should be doing. With it, you know what I mean, yeah, <laughs> you can't. let's move on from the CRB, CRB check, guys. The CRB check's a bit shady. The more kids, the better. Well, I don't yeah, know, stop, right, stop. Let's let's gloss over that. Um, <laughs> I, um, I was so what, what it turned out it was was that um, there was about I don't know about seven classes in the school, and I had to do stand up to each class individually. So I was in a room with a little stage, and they would get brought in, I'd do <laughs> ten minutes, and then they'd go, and then the next class, and I was actually... Well, like a kind of conveyor belt? Yeah, like a conveyor belt of kids, and I was, like, having to... Like sushi? Yeah, <laughs> they were, like, <laughs> like sushi. Um, in that, it was There's seven like, classes like, at like the school. With my hands. Huh? It's a big primary school, isn't it? Um, I, I mean, yeah, I was... About, you know, each class... As, well, as you know, I, I was spoiled for the smallness of primary school, James. Yes, Josh, how many kids were in your primary school? Four kids in my year. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> what then? Now, Romish, their names are like... Josh yeah, all the kids' names in my Blyton school story. sound like I was in an Enid Blyton school. So uh, my year was um, Adam Kempkin. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he was the year above. The year below was Christopher Kempkin. <laughs> uh, Thomas Bosens. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna Portis. And uh, Genevieve Waghorn. <laughs> Genevieve Waghorn. What a year. Uh, also, the year above, Christopher Honeywell. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget him. Occasionally, I'll just text James names of kids at my school. <laughs> he remembers them and texts me. Oh, always makes my day. Always. <laughs> anyway. So, these kids didn't have ridiculous names. Oh, they might have, I don't know. But, uh, so, the, uh, also, I should point out, when I do stand-up, like, kids' gigs, I don't do plan stuff. I just improvise, which normally... I'm professional. Normally it's all right. The first one... The first class it went really well so i was like oh great i'm really confident now this is great well, what was it the youngest or the oldest class? no they start it actually started with the second youngest class right and then they brought the youngest class for the next one and david said to me these ones are normally like an assembly they're the most like docile like the, the, so you, docile. You, you, you you really want to get them going you really want to like <laughs> rev up rev the room up and i was like oh okay okay fine so i, I went on and I just went, I just went on and went, come on! And they were like, oh, oh, clap your hands and whoop and cheer and go crazy, kids! It's comedy time! And they were really you going... with your voice? Yeah, I was like that. That's oh. how I get people going. Okay, that's good. I mean, feel... I've, I've never felt less going in my yeah, life. Always. Well, you're not a, a kid. You know, when yeah. kids hear that... Yeah, it's like, like a dog whistle. It's like, <laughs> like Red Bull, straight in their eyeballs. Yes. Um, I, was, I, was, I was like, come on, there we go, we're going to do this. And, they were, and I was like, who, who likes my jumper? Can you say your jumper? Who likes I know what will get them going. Let's talk about what I'm wearing. Let's go. What was your jumper like? It's had a red jumper on. <laughs> but I was thinking of my feet, Josh. Who likes my jumper? <laughs> yeah, I still do that at adult gigs. <laughs> who likes my jumper? Give me a cheer. They all cheered, mate. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, one kid shouted out, I like your trousers. And then they all cheered. I was like, this is, I'm on to it. This is brilliant. That's obviously quite a bright child. He's thinking outside the box. <laughs> yeah, he's thinking added on to what he's saying. Yeah. I was like, who likes my shirt? Yes. And then I mean, you're not going to, you're not going to, Run out of clothes. Who likes my pants? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a really sad man desperately appraising <laughs> the approval of these children. <laughs> Who likes my shirt? Do you like everything I've got on today? <laughs> <laughs> I've been stood outside. <laughs> Just want someone to say what I'm wearing is okay. <laughs> you kids know what's cool, right? <laughs> you know what's hip and happening right now? I've got a date tonight. I've got a date. Right, well, don't, don't, don't lie, mate. <laughs> 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 um, so, and then one kid shouted out, "What about your socks?" 
Uh, I was like, good point. And I, 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 uh, <laughs> good point. Good point. Well done. I like, completely overlooked my socks. I'm about to move on. And so, uh, I, you're thinking this couldn't be going any better. <laughs> yeah. So I showed them my socks. They're like, yeah. What colour were they? I can't remember what socks I was wearing that day, if I'm honest. Uh, I think they might have been red and, red and uh, black stripy socks. Dennis and Menace. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. Showed them my socks. Loved them. Then another kid. A kid then uh, took his shoes off and put his socks in the air, like put his feet in the air. Uh-oh. So he had stripy socks. And I was like, I went, he's taking his shoes off. <laughs> like, <man. laughs> you're like the I mean, worst. Your crowd work is insane. Look, kids lap this up. They love it. Uh, he's, no, taking he's, he's taking his shoes off. <laughs> Observational comedy boiled down to its very basic <laughs> yeah. Actually just saying stuff just that's happening. Saying what's going on in the room. <laughs> they all Good laugh. evening, Live at the Apollo. He's taking his shoes off. <laughs> Joe White, if you did watch Live at the Apollo and all its members took their shoes off and you didn't, and the comedian wasn't referencing it, you would think there's something wrong with him. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. you would have lost what the you... confidence of 7B. Yeah. <laughs> so he took his shoes off. I referenced he took his shoes off. They loved it. They really laughed, right? Then another kid took their shoes off because it because the because the first kid got such yeah. a big laugh. Did on you it. think there might be a problem at this stage? No, at this at this stage, I was like, this is okay. I'm sure this is okay. And then they pretty much all took their shoes off, uh, and they were all li- lying on their backs and waving their socks, their socked feet in the air. <laughs> And you were uh, thinking, uh, this really, keeps taking a turn for the uh, worse. Well, they were really laughing. Guys, do you like my watch? Yeah. Uh, uh, focus this will calm it down a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guys, stop three settings. Come on. Um, <laughs> stopwatch. Alarm. Light. Let's do them again. Um, so, they're all waving their feet in the air, really laughing. And then, uh, and then out of nowhere, one of them gets up and starts dancing. On their own, this kid started Wait, doing. No, you didn't preempt this. I, I, I didn't prompt this at all. I, at this point, I had lost control. They, 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 were, they, they were doing what they wanted to do. Yeah. Um, there's probably teachers at the back going, "Never go all the way to the socks, mate. <laughs> Jumper, shirt, trousers, yeah. out. Yeah. Do not over overstimulate them." So one kid started dancing, and then they all got up and started dancing in their. What were you doing at this point? I was just standing there, looking over at Trent at the back, like going. Gestures that were saying, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm out my depth. This, this has gone through. Trent, this is my safety word. I'm missing it. Socks. Socks. Get me out of here. Um, so they're all doing a dance. Uh, and, and by the way, it's like one of those, um, yeah, it's, it's a sports hall kind of like, but it's a shiny floor. So they're dancing in their socks, and one of them does a does a jump in the air, oh, oh, and then as oh, they land, dear. slips and full on cracks his head on the floor. Oh, like, really loud. Oh no! And then a girl, another girl, then laughed at this so much that she wet herself. <laughs> Like weed, weed, all that. Uh, I mean, that is it? not going to help the slippery fall. No, 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 no. <laughs> no so, I mean, you said of them. There were genuinely kids near her who were because they were doing a dance and not looking. They weren't aware that she had done that. So there were kids dancing in it in their socks, oh, which is the worst word. thing. And then instantly the teachers swooped in and they're, 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 stop, stop this now. <laughs> and, and the teachers literally pointed at me and went, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Enough! <laughs> 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 and then, and then they took that class away and they cleaned up the floor. And then uh, yeah, the next class came in. And they I'm, still let you carry on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they went, what a damning indictment of education. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, I had to do a, a calm down version. So the, the, the next kids, it was literally like, I went, right, I'm going to tell a story. I'm going to take it nice and slow. And I literally told a really boring story. And in your head, was you, were you just going, don't mention the jumper? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One of them, I can see them in their eyes going, is he not going to reference his red jumper? <laughs> <laughs> no, that is genuinely... the, the saddest indictment <laughs> of British education I've heard in the last 30 years. <laughs> and that, that's why Britain a, is broken. You did a, a septuple. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Seven gigs in a row. Yeah. Well, wow. I'm glad, I'm glad, James, that... Um, he, Red Nose Day this year. You'll be back, presumably. If, if anyone at home wants to book James Acaster for their school, uh, he'll be wearing a red jumper. Yeah. But don't mention his socks. Um, thank you very much. That is genuinely... how I. Each week, it confounds me how you get yourself into these situations, but... 
Thank you very much all the same. Josh Widdicombe. We come to the end uh, as a thank you to Ramesh Ranganathan and, and James Acaster. Uh, you've, you've, just kind of thank you for your time. You get to plug what you want now. I know you two have had a Twitter spat over plugging. Just a bit, mate. Why have a happened? little bit? I, uh, I have to tweet to promote my tour. Rame- it doesn't have to. <laughs> it, it doesn't have to. <laughs> There, there, everything is a choice. If you were, if you were, if you were looking at the and numbers, I, I am, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to. <laughs> and you know, what's, what makes it worse is James sort of does it in that sort of pseudo-reluctant way, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I do. Yeah, I, I don't do a pseudo-reluctant way. I just say the tour's coming to Chip and Norton tonight or something like that. That's all I do. I, um, I do that. You should, you should read my uh, Twitter profile, Rom. It would do your head in. Really? I, it says, uh, reluctant self-publicist. I have my DVD here. <laughs> but as a result, of course, what, I, what I've started doing is just tweeting um, the link to my ticket straight to Romesh. <laughs> now, James, you can plug these, so let's do let's Yeah, do go it. for it, James. I'm right here on the same mic as you. Tuesday, 22nd, Leeds. 23rd, York. 24th, Bath. Oh, I wish I didn't have to do this. 25th, Scunthorpe. We all do, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Scunthorpe certainly do. <laughs> the people of Bath feel it. God, I wish I didn't have to do that one. Bath. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. 25th, Scunthorpe. 26th, Louth. Where is that? I don't know. Louth. Never heard of it. How are you spelling that? L-O-U-T-H. You should That's not, not a say. place. Classic prank on me. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, my, my, my agent is putting... See so you in Louth? Louth, <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Is... Ticket sales are amazing yeah. in Louth, James. Yeah, you sold out. sold out, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a character from Harry Potter. You know, you know, you don't need to promote that because uh, there's been a lot of tickets sold on Word of Louth. Oh. Oh, thank you very much. Josh Widdicombe. <laughs> um, so... Dot com. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go to you, Oh, his TV does. Don't go to you, Please. So is that, that's it for this week? That's all the, yeah, that's, that's the main thing, yeah, the tour. Cool. Rome? And by the way, I, I do like doing it. <laughs> <laughs> what about the tour? Oh. Hey! Hello! There he is. <laughs> Boomtown. Um, <laughs> Romesh, have you got anything to promote? Yes, James A. Custer's tour <laughs> is going to Louth. Uh, no, I'm doing Soho Theatre. Oh. 31st of October, 1st of November, 2nd of November. Um, it's going to be great, guys. It's going to be a really fun time. Yeah? Is that... I mean, I don't else? think you should get into advertising. <laughs> I don't think there's much voiceover work working waiting for you. <laughs> God. Um, well, it'll be, it'll be fun. I mean, what did you think of that plug? How would you rate that? I mean, well, you, you sounded like you didn't want. It. Yeah, you, you didn't really want them to go. Is that what it sounded like? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me try it again. Can I try it again? Yeah, one last time. Um, well, thanks for asking, Josh. I'm doing the <laughs> Soho Theatre on the 31st of October, 1st of November, and 2nd of November. It's going to be a really great show, and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone there. <laughs> Gee, Willikers, I'm buying tickets. <laughs> Thank you both for coming in. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure's mine. For having us. The pleasure is mainly yours, James. <laughs> <laughs>